Hello, and welcome to first of many LEGO reviews. I'm your host, Owen Goffrey, and today we'll be looking at my fan-made creations inspired by the classic space theme, which ran from 1978 to 1995. This 17-year period is one of my favorites, and it all had one of the most interesting stories and some of the best sub-themes ever in their entire history, and many of which have become fan favorites. I'm sure you've seen it all over the internet somewhere. So we're going to go through each of them, and I have them on the table here. I'll just talk about each of them and where they came from and what the theme was, and I'll show off each of them in detail as best as I can. So, let's get started. So, as, as a reference, I have a timeline, and first off is Mission Command, which is this one here. This is actually inside of it, so it's... This is mainly inspired by the headquarters seen in some of the official stuff. You know, you got, like, Space Police, Blacktron, and everything. Yeah, I'm going really obscure on this one. So, this has hallway, which connected to this room here, and it's got, like, what is this? Is this, is this a windmill? Did I build a windmill? I could just put, like, a spinny thing on there. So, uh, yeah, it has weapon room, it's got, like, a spacesuit, which has no hands, because, you know, nobody wants to wear it, and it keeps falling apart, and you got, like, communications room in here, and this is actually used by one of the characters who becomes a prototype for one of the villains in a sub-theme, which is known as Spirus, and this was released in 1994, and it was the anime faction. Also, many of the anime factions had, like, awesome color schemes, like Blacktron was black, and, and Space Police had, like, red and blue, and... Yeah, they had their own look and backstory, and they also had their own arsenal of vehicles, and their own technology as well. So, how about we talk about them? And this is also one of my favorites, by the way. It's called... Insert space reference here. The Voyager 5. And it has, like, it's a three-man ship, and it has the feature that most LEGO space themes come with. And it has, ooh, it's two ships with one feature. Two ships with one feature. And this is, like, Galactic Enforcer and the Renegade from, like, the already mentioned Blacktron and Space Police. So this is how Mission Command works. The Mission Command, it, the ships are normally set here. Or here, because there's, like, a spaceport. Because, who? Yeah, so, like, I'm actually planning to get, like, some of the Blacktron stuff so then I can, like, rehash it and do whatever. So it's time to play well, like LEGO always tells me. So this is the Spireus fighter, which is a reference to the actual Spireus flying saucers in the sets, which were, you know, just flying saucers, and they were red and black with, like, blue canopies. And... These are actually taken from secret plans that Space Police took from Blacktron agents on the planet Crystal from Ice Planet 2002, which was another sub theme. And, yeah, this isn't like the actual Spirus UFOs, but it's very similar. Also, Spirus had robots. That's what makes them some of my favorites. They had giant robots. Can't go wrong with robots, everybody. So now we're going to move on to the actual people, and I have the magic poly bag of awesomeness here. So, uh, let me go through, um... This is Commander Argon as, like, the leader of Space Police. He's, like, this tough, no-nonsense guy. So, basically, he's, like, the Judge Dredd of this universe. And this is just a Star Wars figure. I'm just gonna leave him on the table right here, cause... And then he's got his two best men, who are coming in right now. If I can just find them. So, both of these are Star Wars related. And I'm just going to set these two down here as well. And their job is to track down this mysterious villain called Black Falcon. Which is more like a superhero name now that I think about it. And he's hiring all the bad guys like Blacktron, both the first version from the 80s and the later Next Generation version, which is also known as Blacktron 2 from the 90s. And he's also hiring the aforementioned Spireus. I don't know why I keep mentioning them. <laughs> I don't know why I keep mentioning Spireus. I guess it's just my favorite sub-theme out of all of them. Even more than the classic Spaceman. So, it's Lego. We can use our imaginations, right? These guys just look like they came from Lego space at all. So, next up is our villain. You two, three liar ripped down there. Horoander. Yes, Horoander. He was a member of Space Police before turning on them and getting the secret blueprints to an ancient weapon known as the Gemini Laser. 
So the Gemini laser is kind of like this typical stuff. It's got it's a giant laser. That's it. That's just all it is. And he's made up of different parts. And he's uh, a reference to another sub-theme called Mtron, which was released in 1990. And these were actually the civilians. Because you got, like, the good guys, like Space Place, and you have the civilians, like Futron or Unitron. And then you have the bad guys, like Blacktron. And these guys were released in 1990. And then we have our secondary villain, who actually owns this spacesuit right here. This was his, and his name is Jorion. He's only assisting Horo so he could get his body back, because that's the deal. Ooh, ooh. You do something for me, I'll do something to you. Fine, do anything. I don't care. You help me get the laser, I'll give you your body back. Okay, done. So basically, he was like... His backstory is that he was crippled in an explosion during the fight against Blacktron, obviously. And he was given a... He was given this robot body, which looks nothing like Spirus, but sort of does. And this is actually the body for Spirus Mark II. And this was an idea I came up with, so then I wouldn't just, like, back out of an argument I knew I was going to lose. And they're all fighting for the Chosen Ones. Yes, Chosen Ones, because why the hell not? And these are two. They're actually twins, by the way. I just go into the magic poly bag again. And this is Talisha and Jaxo. Jaxo may look familiar because this is Luke Skywalker with a exclusive uniform. This is the ceremony one from A New Hope. And Talisha is from the Old Republic, which is an interesting time in Star Wars history. That's for another video. And... Yeah, this was released in 2009. I still have the book. I always keep this in complete condition because it's an exclusive figure. Basically, it's almost like, why are all the exclusive figures released in, like, May the 4th and everything? I don't get that. And this is actually a metal. also acts as a key for the Gemini laser, which is, like, you put it in a hole, and it kind of shuts down. It acts like a failsafe, almost like antivirus software. And then Black Falcon, he's not actually seen, but he's always mentioned. Anime villain? Much? Yeah, Black Falcon's kind of like your typical anime villain. He's never seen until the very end. He's giant, he's black, he's always feared by his subcordinates and his minions. And he has to be defeated by these two guys, because, you know, these are the chosen ones, and he has to stop, they have to stop the war from being engulfed in eternal darkness. Oh boy, Anime Plot 101. Ah, uh, yeah, this guy sounds like a lot like a villain from a, from a, like a really old manga that I read called Cyborg 009, called Black Ghost. And the only difference between Black Falcon and Black Ghost is that Black Ghost is entirely hell-bent on war and complete destruction of the Earth. Uh, while Black Falcon's bent on engulfing the world in, in internal darkness. So! That has been my review of the custom LEGO space sets. It's probably not the best thing I've done, but it took me a while to make these. I'm pretty happy with them, especially this one, because this is my favorite. It's easy to understand. It's it's really fun to play with. I use my imagination when doing it. I took inspiration from other places. So, this has been my review of all the sets. Until next time, I will be back with more LEGO shenanigans. Hopefully showing off more custom stuff, talking about the history of LEGO, hopefully. Until then, I'll see you next time on LEGO Legacy, and this is his host, signing out.